we like to introduce him as payload specialist too, Glenn, because he had been the guy and now he's seventh on the pecking order there on that flight. And here's this person who done step by step by step in the training, didn't ask for any special favors in the training. He was doing it all. On October 29, 1998, the Space Shuttle Discovery was ready for launch. The American public was thrilled to see the iconic astronaut return to space 36 years after his one and only space flight. Fans and admirers, both young and old, turned out in record numbers. He asked my wife and I if we could be down there for it. We said, of course. And of course, Andy was there. Ted Williams was there, his wingman from Korea. On behalf of the entire launch team, you and the crew Discovery have a great mission. Thank you very much, sir, and Discovery's crew is definitely ready to go, and uh, we would like you to proceed. Godspeed, John Glenn. T-minus 10, 9, 8, we have a go for engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. Maybe the most important thing about the whole flight was that it brought the nation's attention back to space. We, we become blasé. It looked, it was too easy. And, uh, oh, okay, yeah, there goes another shuttle. Well, there, there goes another shuttle with John Glenn. Roger, go ahead, Bravo. The amount of pride I had, Republicans and Democrats all high-fiving each other, you, you think that we had gone up. It was a great moment for seniors. You could still uh, dream, you could still take risks, show these youngsters that, uh, hey, uh, you know, your time isn't passed yet. I let the record show that John has a smile on his face and it goes from one ear to the other one and we haven't been able to remove it yet.